Good morning, Jeff Roper here in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. And uh, yeah, we turned on the air conditioning this morning and some of the dust <laughs> from around here that has blown around overnight has gotten in my throat. So I apologize if I don't sound as handsome as I should. Uh, 47 and sunny in Jackson. Bright this morning. You'll need just, <laughs> it is funny, and, uh, disc jockey on TV. Heat advisory for the afternoon. We've got some sunshine around here uh, and it will be 56 when you step out the door in Idaho Falls. Winds are out of the north at about 5 and the sun will go down tonight about 9, 12. So the days are getting shorter. We're in July. We're above average with our temperatures. Normally we would be in the mid to upper 80s for Idaho Falls. That would put us into the upper 70s into Jackson. So temperatures are about 10 degrees off. That's why we've issued heat advisories into this afternoon again. With a chance of afternoon thunderstorms, things may turn out to be a jiffy pop of an afternoon with some moisture that is monsoonally flowing from the south and west. And we've got some moisture to the north and west of us as well. That last little bit of high pressure has pushed off into Canada. We've got more high pressure into the four corners, which has helped us save the day yesterday. But you can see where we are this morning, even in the twin this morning, just a sporadic shower pushing through and some minute showers into the pistol tip of Idaho. I'll take off the temperature gradient so you can see where the cloud cover is. It's a bright morning around here. By the time we get into the afternoon with Vipercast, you'll start to see showers begin to pop there along the I-15 corridor into the mountain areas and the eastern highlands in western Wyoming with about a 30 to 50 percent chance of a shower more. Let me get out of the way so you can see on into tomorrow afternoon as well. Garden variety thunderstorms around to just splash and dash and gusty winds for the afternoon. 25 to 30 mile an hour winds and gusty around storms into the late afternoon hours. We'll put Michael Coates to work on that and make sure he stays out of the pockets pool hall. Things around here are going to be uh, pushing the winds into the afternoon hours on into Thursday and Friday as well. There'll be some uh, limited shower chances. Let's talk about UV indices. Yeah, this is uh, going to start really kicking into high gear for us into the afternoon hours. Uh, we get through the day today and we'll pop with a five to 10 minute burn time, especially into areas of the Palisades on up toward Driggs into Jackson along the Teton Pass and into uh, Montana into the parks. So it's, it's going to be one of those days where you're going to have to again protect yourself with the heat advisory in play. Hot weather can uh, bring on hill uh, heat induced illnesses. That's what I was trying to say before I was so roughly interrupted by my tongue. 96 in Salmon for the afternoon, 94 in Chalice. It'll be 86 into Island Park today, 88 in Driggs and mid 80s in Jackson. Again, we're 10 degrees or so above where we should be for this time of the year. Hence the heat advisory. So folks that are from around here are like, why well, I'll put a heat advisory. I'll paint that map orange. We just want people to be careful. That's truly the deal. We're trying to take care of you, all right? And I know I say the same things over and over again, but you got to wear light colored clothing. You got to stay hydrated. You got to take care of the kids. Don't leave them in the car. Don't leave the pets in the car. Make sure you got air conditioning. Check on the elderly and take care of yourself, too, okay? Don't leave yourself out because if you're not well, you can't take care of other people. Winds will be pushing from the south and the west. So we've got a red flag warning that is in the southern part of Idaho for the afternoon. And we'll carry that heat advisory all the way till 9 o'clock tonight. It's going to be in the mid 90s for Blackfoot with a one in three storm chance. And we'll still keep these things cracking across here into the mid 90s and 95 for Saturday, 96 into Sunday. This is not going to stop. We are in the dog days of summer. Now you see the cloudiness there in the salmon. You stand a chance of seeing a storm or two, 96 and hot for the rest of the period. Rexburg, it's going to be in the lower 90s. By the time we get to the weekend, we're going to crank up the heat. It's like final exams at the BY of I. It'll be in the upper 90s. You better get it on, get it on. It'll be 85 in Jackson, which again is about eight degrees above normal for this time of the year. And you've got a 40% chance of a storm cooking across uh, the eastern highlands in western Wyoming. It's going to be about 90 degrees on into Friday, and then we'll be pushing the lower 90s on into Sunday. We get a few disturbances across here, which will kick the temperatures around, but there's really not much stopping us to keep that uh, heat index way on up there, or rather the heat advisory on up there. And you got to be careful. It's going to be 98 for the afternoon at Ross Park. Whew. Man, hot. And then we bring in another chance of a storm on into Friday. Idaho Falls, mid 90s today. A little bit of a cool off there as we even out into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but still hot through the period and pushing 60 degrees, which again is about 10 degrees above normal for this time of the year overnight. By the way, it's National French Friday. Where is the best local place to get your fries Frenched? Tell us where you get them. 